time for your daily dose of uh, stealing the Ark of the Covenant. That's how we're going to start this episode. And I'm not going to stop until we actually steal this goddamn Ark of the Covenant. It's eluded me. The, the Ark of the Covenant eludes me. Right. Who shall be our accomplice? We have different choices this time. Hopefully, they're going to be somewhat better. Oh, by the way, this is CK2. Hi. Um, we've got... <laughs> hopefully, that should be obvious. Despot Viltanius the Just. Um, as most despots would be described. Marshal of 21. Okay, fair enough. Or we've got Germanus. Um, who has the name Germanus, so I'm not going to trust him. We're going to take Despot Vit uh, Vitalanius, my marshal. And you know what? We're going to fight our way through this time. We've tried being sneaky. We've tried to being diplomatic and trying to convince the servants. This time we're going to kill them all dead. Um, and we might end up in prison for another 20 years, so that'll be fun as well. Oh, shit. Look at how much gold we've got. Um, maybe I should do something with that. Maybe we could build up Constantinople. Um, is there any even anything worth building here? Church of the Holy Apostles, I don't think we can use because we're not... Christian? I mean, why not? Let's give it a go. Um, that'll do. Right. Hello. My prisoner, Legatus Ori. Let's, uh, release him. He can repay me later. I'm not sure what he did, but now he owes us a favor. All right. Still in the Ark. Yep, that's great. Right. Force my way inside. 61%. Oh, shit. Well, seeing as this is supposedly the Marshall run, that's not a good sign. Convince some servants to let me in is still the highest. I feel like we should just boom diplomacy. If we fail this time, which we're not going to because we are Emperor Julius Augustus, biggest dick is the highest wank in Rome. I don't think this is going to fail. So we're going to convince some servants to let me in. This is the third time. Fucking hate, I hate this game. Failure. The guards quickly start surrounding you. Do we run away? 63% um, chance of successfully escaping them because we brought our marshal with us. Okay. Um, what's the highest chance of escaping? This one. 22% um, chance of gaining the trait wounded on our escape. 22% chance of escaping and losing 500 prestige because we're going to beg for forgiveness. That one's an imprisonment. That one's imprisonment. That one is also imprisonment. Um, I think I'll go for this one and gain the trait wounded. We're immortal, so who cares? Oh, we actually escaped. Nice. Okay, you know what? I think we'll just take Egypt. We'll take the whole thing in one swoop. That will force them up into this area. My vassals will just probably swallow them up naturally at that stage. So let's do that. All right, how much did that cost me? Like 2,000 gold. Jesus. Call in allies? Wait, we've still got Saxony. Really? Um... You know what, we'll deal with Saxony later on. In fact, I'm going to release them because I think they still hold land that we should. Um, we can't release them because we have to be at peace. Okay, fair enough. After this, I'll uh, I'll release those boys and we'll let them go about their business. Then we can go and declare war at them later on. Okay, well this should be fairly straightforward then because they basically haven't got any troops left because my vassals have already been knocking them around a bit. Now obviously if we can kill her dead, that would be a lot more appropriate seeing as she's fake biggest dickers. Before we go any further, let me make my promise true uh as i always promise and always forget let's take a look at the religions map mode holy shit okay well we've won i mean hellenic is just everywhere at this point it's even started to assimilate back into greece as well we've got parts of egypt is, is that sinai no no that's the Nile delta sinai's next door um we've got uh egypt again we've got all of tunisia at this stage morocco as well iberia i mean we just can't be stopped we're an absolute powerhouse and obviously that comes from your immortal uh imperator generally helps out a lot what is it our diplomacy uh, yeah, 8.5% is boosting that. Also, our piety as well. So the older we become, just from the ticking monthly piety gain, the more powerful the religion is going to get. Even if we get attacked in holy wars, all we've got to do is live longer to increase our moral authority even more. Maybe it's capped at 25% though in hindsight. I think it is, isn't it? Alright, ignore me then. Ignore me. We won't worry about that too much. I think, either way, I think our moral authority is always going to be at 100% at this stage of the game because, I mean... How are they ever going to get to this stage? How is any other religion? Should we even see what the next highest religion is here? Just out of pure curiosity. Uh, moral authority. Druidic. Right. 95% there. We're not even on the list. I don't know why. Because we are definitely at 100%, aren't we? Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Dru um. Citation needed? There we go. Okay. Wow. Um. That ledger scared the shit out of me then. Right, uh, let's reopen it. Sorry, no, ledger. Ledger, there we are. Alright, so we've got 99.5% in terms of Druidic. Might make um, our new sort of uh, Hadrian's Conquest a little more difficult seeing as they're unified this time. Whereas beforehand, they were all a bunch of random tribal barbarians. I, I can't imagine they'll stop us that much, but we might be overextending ourselves a little bit. But let's obviously focus on restoring the Empire before we worry about that. So our Astrians... They're sort of our biggest threat, like legitimately biggest threat. The Druids are one thing, but I mean, these guys have a huge amount of land. Oh, and now they're in a massive revolt as well. Uh, Persian, Zoroastrian, yeah. I mean, the Sassanids are probably going to be fine though, I imagine. 8.5 thousand men versus 10,000 men. 
Uh, it's a toss-up, but as long as the Empire remains together, it's not split by Gavokind or anything, these guys are definitely our threat as well. They probably hold all of their Holy Sites too, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't there. Um, I'm thinking, when we eventually steal the Ark of the Covenant, as we did with the Western, or the Eastern Roman Empire, we'll just send China after them to break up their Empire and make it easier just to go between province to province. The ultimate goal is obviously take the Chinese throne, so th this is our next logical sort of attacking point there. Alright, there we go. Not too bad there. And if you, I had to siege three provinces and then obviously their army just wandered straight into us. And uh, for, for some reason they attacked with 8,000 men, which I didn't think was the best idea. Nice. Okay, so what has she got left then? Oh shit, we've obviously got to deal with this as well. Can we make just the kingdom? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll just dish that out to one of my loyal vassals. Um, this guy's very, very good. Like an incredibly high stewardship. He's also a blue support, so how can I not make him uh, the diocese of Egypt there? Perfect. Uh, who's this under? Oh shit, Triple Atania got some. Uh, not a big problem, to be honest. It just makes the vassals map mode look a little more ugly. But that's basically it. Alright then. Uh, 14 out of 13. We also apparently got something else. Um, why? Ruler, Ruler are married. She died? Uh, we were literally married to her for basically a year. Oh, shit. We had a son, though. Prince Cyprianus of the Western Roman Empire. Okay. Well, this kid's pretty well connected in life. I think it'll go far. Can we get a refund on that wife? Hey, Emperor, my wife is dead. Can you please send us some uh, our favor back or something? She basically lasted a year and gave us one kid. Um, okay, let's take a look then. One of your presidents, an insignificant elderly peasant, was starving and frail due to his advanced age. Oh, I remember this event from last time. Right. Um, the gods have blessed them, released them. Furthermore, I'll give them public support for life. Uh, I feel like we should do this one. Now, I think we already have this blessing associated with this particular event, so it doesn't matter too much. But, I mean... It's no skill on as it isn't a real character. It's just a it's just an event. So we'll get that one just because we can definitely afford the cost there. All right. Um, what's next on my hit list? I actually want to start working down to Abyssinia so that we can. What is that? Eastern Scholar? What? Okay. So the, a mercenary band have grabbed a bunch of land here. Fair enough. I want to start moving down into uh, Abyssinia or Ethiopia there so that we can grab that Ark of the Covenant. Um, just through warfare rather than having to constantly you know, try and steal it and fail. So we can actually grab all of this in one swoop, can we? That's pretty useful. Right, moving on. I imagine what happened there is that she hired them as her holy, holy order, or they were a vassal under her or something, and she couldn't afford the upkeep. So they went to war with her and took these provinces in, during that battle. At least I assume that's the case. We can always double check, can't we, in the history, so I'd rather me trying to guess. Um, oh no, he was actually just elected. Okay, sh sure? Yeah, so this dude had a titular title, and now that's, that that's became the primary title instead. Okay, fair enough. So no, it's not nearly as interesting as I thought. Uh, these are the terms of my surrender. Why is he at 90% war score immediately? Uh, excuse me? Oh shit, well, my vassal's already at war for him. For, for this province. Uh, yes, they were. Why? Why him of all people? What? Okay, well, we've we've joined in a losing war because one of our vassals was fighting a losing battle. Okay, why not? One of our vassals in France, no less. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals will do nothing because I don't care about him. All right, let's camp siege very, very quickly and try and get some more score back here. Right, we should be good. There we go. All right, 74%. Let's camp siege all of this just moving on the capital. We should be all right. I don't think we need to worry about this war in particular too much. Um, that was not worth it. So I sent a gift to the Chinese Emperor. Apparently he wanted 9,000 gold. Ah, uh, yeah, probably not worth it at all. Now, what I actually want to get is the Chinese Siege Engineers and the Chinese, um, no, just the Chinese Regular Engineers and the, what, what's the other one? Scholar Bureaucrats, that's it. Master Engineers, Scholar Bureaucrats. Because they're in a Golden Age, the effect of those is basically doubled, which is going to make Rome an absolute powerhouse for a very, very long time because we're immortal. Um, they have like a 20-year cooldown on it, but... We could just keep repeatedly buying new ones is the point I'm getting at. So, okay. I think that's that's not a bad idea, despite the fact that it's going to cut into our Assassinid Assassinid fund. Um, what is that? 750. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Uh, we want Scholar Bureaucrat, which is 1,000. Master Engineer, which is 1,000. So, we need 2,000 minimum. Damn. When we've got that arc, we should probably get some change from that as well, even if we do send it off to China. We'll just take out the last few provinces here in Egypt. This shouldn't take too long. Okay, great, great. Conversions. Perfect. And we'll double check the conversion map, obviously, at the end of the video there to see how Hellenicism... Hellenism? I don't know the... I don't know the right conjugation there. Is, uh... Is expanding. And now we should be almost done with it very, very soon. 
Because obviously with all of these promises we take, we're eroding their own moral authority in return. Com Comes Orientis, Julianus the Holy is created. Great, I don't care. Save me some money and prestige. Fine, why not? Thank you very much. Okay, uh, who are we going to give all of this shit to? Are you Christian? Oh, you fool. Goodbye. I'll let him keep the castle. You know, just because I am a kind and just emperor. Um, but otherwise, we're going to have to find ourselves a nice Hellenic man. Near, near, near Potion? Sure. Here you go, my friend. You may have... Um, why can't I... Did we not get the Dutch level title with that? What is the Dutch level title called? Hang on. Um, Thebaeus? Uh, Usurp? Yeah, thanks. I will. We should probably just be marrying for stats at this point, shouldn't we? So let's go on the character finder, see what we can find that would just boost up our own sort of stewardship enough so we don't have to give away any land here. Um, can we marry you? I'm going to assume not. We're not a very progressive nation here. Uh, Hedwig will do. Hang on, let's actually load... What is it? Filter 2. There we go. She'll do. Where is she? Uh, welcome to court. Invite to... What? Oh, she's their chief diviner, so they'll probably say no as well because we are... Wow, racist. What about this lady? She might be within our realm. Arranged marriage between her and, and us. No. We have to find some of our own religion all within our realm. Let's see who's the best woman in our realm. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. African solar. 20 stewardship. That's what I like to see. Uh, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Welcome to court. Come and marry the emperor. He needs your stewardship abilities. All right. And arrange marriage to Julius Augustus Bigger Stickers. Imperator fulfilled. Yes. Uh, let's convince this guy. So it turns out. Always convincing them to flip your teams isn't the best idea because you also get a, a huge malice, which also is going to stack with obviously them being on a different team to you. So you kind of have to play it safely. For the most part, now that we're in a sort of more stable environment again, because I'm on top of my vassal management and, and the domain management and the religion management, we're, I'm all right to do it. But sometimes it's probably not worth it, especially if you're already in a rocky scenario, say just after a succession or something. Uh, see, so he said no, and now he's going to dislike us even more because we tried to get him to convert. So, um, it's a little bit of a problem. 39? What if we send him a gift? Here you go. I kind of want to keep these more powerful vassals. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Right. Um, how much gold have we got? 3,000 already. Jesus. Okay, we'll send it to you, boys. Keep them happy. You know, we'll just send it to everyone. Keep them all happy. Why not? Let's get rid of these factions. These are the... Did we just send that guy a gift and he lost opinion? Oh my god, I better revoked his honorary title, didn't I, by accident? Why, 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 why you have to be mad? Uh, n no? Did he really just not like us that much? And it, it went up. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Um, who else we got? We've got this fella here, who gets, no? Uh, you get an honorary title. You may be my designated region, some random dude. Some random Egyptian dude. Yeah, maybe not. I feel like that, that, that could be safe for someone a bit more important. Speaking of which, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, specifically this dude probably wouldn't be a bad call. Now, what are the faction we got to worry about? Increase council power? Definitely not. Speaking of which, we have to undo the damage that they did last time with their council power. So, we'll do that one in a sec before we get into any other large wars. But we also might be limited in what we can do because I imagine... Oh, she's split in half? Pontus is... Different now? Huh. Well, it works out for us because obviously that means we don't have to, you know, wait for our cooldown to come off of the truce there. Fine. Um, let's... Gain a virtue? We actually don't have any virtues at all. Sure, why not? Um, what was they doing? What was the other thing? Help me. Oh, councils. Yeah. Uh, let's send... So that's pretty much everybody gifted, isn't it? Right, good. Now let's take a look at the laws. Can we abolish the council once more? Rule a declaration uh, for war. I feel it's not a bad idea. Everyone's an opponent. Doesn't matter too much because it's not like we can't bribe them here. So we'll just buy favours with them all. No? What if we send you a gift? No. Well, this guy doesn't like us a lot, so that might be uh, understandable. No. Ha. Huh. Okay, this guy will, so we'll just buy favors from whoever we can. Yes, yes, excellent, excellent. Uh, there's one for you as well. All we need to start off the council, but I'll also buy an additional favor just as a safety net in case it doesn't happen. Right, there are three favors bought, and how much do we need to buy a favor from you, my friend? You want... Um, oh, we actually can't. It'll just say no. What about you? You mean my last, my last hope? Yes, he's done it. Okay, right. And then we'll also push through whatever else we can while we've got favors called in on all of them. So we'll go ahead and do that very quickly, calling council support. Call in at council support. Now, we can always request council support. In return, we owe them a favor. But then, you know, nine times out of ten, unless you sat them from the council, they will just use it to call in a vote against you to make up for it. So that's good if you sort of want to trade a law for another. Say you're going tribal or something along those lines. Um, or going from tribal to feudal, I should say. Then it's not too bad. But in this scenario, I feel like I'm quite all right just pushing it through like this. All right, another large chunk of the empire about to go down here. So what else have we got? Oh, God. Oh, you look a little bit... Oh, I think you might be screwed, my friend. Uh, quarantine this man. Oh, he's dead. Okay, problem solved. Right, Um, we've got 300 gold. I was just about to say, let's build up Rome a little bit more. But I guess not. 
So his capital's actually in uh, Ptolemais? Really? All right, why not? I imagine one of our vassals would probably tidy that up for us, seeing as it's, you know, a, a bit of a sore thumb there just sticking out. Plus, it'll lose all of its power base up here, so we'll basically have nothing left at this stage. His, his kingdom level might even fall apart. Um, no, fuck off. I'm not doing any more of those stupid Federati negotiations, because they never work out in our favor at all. So, I think I'm all right, thanks. I think we'll just uh, conk you with my many, many legions. Or he's going to attack us. You know what, Saxony? Deal with these fools. Uh, call them into this one, if you don't mind. Ah, uh, yes. While watching the latest play from a local philosopher, completely excellent. More learning. Look at this. We're up to 51 now, and we are drunk as a softball, so we haven't got any downside to that event. I'm wondering how far we can push this. Can we get to 100 learning before we actually put a horse on the throne of China? Um, great question. I think it's probably not too unreasonable to think that, seeing as how long has the game been going for? Let's be reasonable. 141 years. Um, I, I imagine there were one or two occasions where I said no to that event. I also don't know what triggers it. Like, I have absolutely no idea why we get that event, what, what particular, whether it's a building, whether it's just something you get as the Roman Emperor. I'll have to take a look at that and see see what the triggers are for it to try and expedite the process a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. 100 learning Roman Emperor before we, before we uh, end the campaign. That, I think that's, a, that's another side goal there. Thank you very much. Right, okay, what province is this then? Pontus, and we actually have that for ourselves then. Are you Roman? You're not? Sorry, gotta go. Goodbye. My father was a centurion in the Jerusalem garrison. I couldn't give less of a shit, my friend. I need all of this back. Thank you. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Sinope and... Sinope? Is that not in Egypt? I guess I have no idea. Uh, who is this? What the fuck am I looking at? What am I... Um... I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Prince Sempronius of the West. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely, I completely lost for words here. My trusted and devoted Chamberlain brought to my attention that one of the serving maids has given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Um, I, I do want him to actually gain the son though, because I want to see. Sure, resentful to be enforced. Yeah, let's force him to adopt the child. Oh my God, it was actually born a horse. Cheetak biggest dickus. This is horrible. This actually makes one to vomit. There's that really old... Um, uh, I don't know if it's a meme, but it's a comic of a dude transforming into a horse. And he like becomes naked and his, his body bones start like breaking and contorting. I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it in the comments. You'll have to remind me there if you're really that interested. This is reminding me of that and that's why it's freaking me out. This is horrible. Ban this game. You know what? Honestly, why the fuck not? What else are we going to lose at this point? There you go, son. Uh, you are now the despot of Pontus. Uh, can we even... Wait, you can't get married? Oh, we can get married. Right, I was going to say, that would be a bit weird if, if Horseboy couldn't get married there. Um, she's quick. I mean, I'd ideally like to find him someone who's a genius. Let's restrict marriage for him temporarily. Let's go ahead and uh, go genius. Let's go uh, load filter two. No, load filter two. Right. Okay, let's take a look. What have we got? Anybody want to join our court? She might, but she's 45. I feel like that's a little bit late, thanks. Uh, Diplo range, preferably. Um, damn, she's really the only one. So anybody who's Hellenic, we've got an eight-year-old girl. We've got a 57-year-old woman. Right, so this eight-year-old girl, I'm going to arrange marriage between her and my son if I can, but he's outside of my realm now, so I don't think that's how that works. Oh, you know what? Let's leave him to his own devices. He might get a horsewife or something. He might, you know, he might get an events for one, which would be way funnier in my opinion. Um, who's got this province then? Province of... Oh, Julian Maximus, but he's my vassal. I don't really want to revoke that if you don't mind. Um, there's also this one as well. Yeah, I'm, why would I revoke my vassal tiles? I'm not doing that. No, I'm good, thanks. Right, okay then. Wow, look at this. Holy shit, we're almost done with it. This is so good. So these are the borders we're going to have to control to reform the Roman Empire. So we've got one province there, a few more in Greece. We've actually got a fair amount here going out to Damascus. That's a little bit annoying. So we are going to have to go to war with the Sassanids no matter what. Not ideal. Okay, fair enough. We've got to go a little bit more along the Black Sea there. Besides that, I think... Oh, how are we doing in Germania? Oh shit, we've got to take Alemannia. Right, so everything south of the Rhine we've got to take as well. Um, Africa is good, besides this one province. And then, of course, the last place is all the way up to Hadrian's Wall there. My god, okay. So why don't we send the Praetorian Guard up to clearing out Alemannia, uh, clearing out the rest of the UK, just chain some walls together there, all the way up to uh, Hadrian's Wall. This, I'm hoping, while we're doing that, our vassals will tidy this up. Now, I imagine the final one will be going to war with the Assassins for these sort of, you know, random provinces. 
Um, all of about eight provinces there. So, you know what? I think we've already done it. I think, we, I think we've almost done it. And then all I've got to do is find the independent baronies and tidy those up. Shit. We are actually going to get Rome this episode, aren't we? Ah, interesting. A traveler from the east reaches a court. Reading from the scroll, he states that the Emperor of China demands a tribute of a thousand heavenly horses from your lands. These are the finest and strongest horses. We lose 5,000 gold for 200 grace. Or we could say, your emperor has no power here. Um, which I feel like is a better option. Because honestly, I was happy to be friends with China. I was happy to get their buffs in exchange for what we could give to them. I feel like he's taking the piss. So you know what? He has no power here. What's he going to do? Invade me? What's he going to do? Invade me? Oh, okay. I was kind of expecting him for actually, to actually do something, and then it was going to be really funny. Um, Alright, never mind then. Let's carry on with our conquest of the UK. So where are the Praetorian Guard right now? They're wandering up through uh, Austria, I think that is. Uh, they're wandering up through Germany. We should be going in no time. Oh no, Chinese embargo. Oh, my trade routes. All oh, my lighthouses are going to be embargoed. What a fucking shame. Right, let's actually take out these boys then. Uh, excuse me, I need this back if you don't mind. Excellent, right. This should take no time at all. Like, this will genuinely take 30 seconds because of these filthy pagans. They don't really have anything worth taking, even. Oh, they've got some decent troops, though. To their credit, they can field a lot of men from this very small province. Right, there we go. And just go ahead and kill you boys dead. And then we're off to the UK. The filthiest of all places. Um, sure. Pay 100 gold for you to not reveal my plot and potentially ruin it. We're only at 80% plot power to kill off false biggest dickers. A little bit of a shame. What's this trait? Descended from a noble stranger. Ooh, that's cool. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm getting distracted by things that really don't matter. Oh, God. I started noticing that everyone is better than me. This isn't fair. I want to be as good as everyone else. I'm worthless. Gain 50, uh, the trait depressed, which I think we already have. No, we have stressed. Uh, humble, craven, or shy. All of those are bad. Um, I don't try hard enough. We either get stressed, ambitious, or diligent. Oh, we've already got ambitious. We don't have diligent, though. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, diligent. Go. Shit. <laughs> All right, never mind then. Okay, to the UK. Uh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, I'll just take that off you guys first if you don't mind. Uh, I'm also going to revoke this. You can stay there and look threatening while we revoke it as well if you don't mind. Right, um, we're going to be taking these because we don't... It's not that I don't trust you. It's just you are a bit of a troublemaker. Thank you. I'll be, I'll be taking that one. Uh, we'll take Germania and Theria. And we'll just give this away and shuffle it all into one vassal. Because we are at 38 out of 40 again on our vassal limit there. Right, thank you very much. I just got a text saying my Uber's outside, which is worrying. Because I haven't ordered an Uber. Um... I feel like I should probably deal with that, but you know what? They'll understand. Look, I'm reforming the Roman Empire. I'll send it to customer support. Look, please cancel this. I'm busy uh, revoking Germania. Now, that they'll obviously understand that, I think. They're, they're reasonable people. Oh, come on. Really? Of course it would be. Of course it would be this dude. Fucking fool. What's he got? Oh, 80 men. Wow. That's it. I've taught me a lesson. Now we've got to, now we've got to kill everyone you love. Look what you made me do. Now I have to kill everybody you've ever known. Can't believe this. Sometimes... You you really just upset me sometimes, you know, right, 100% more secure. Thank you very much. Nice, okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be revoking these. You know what? Credit to him, at least he stood by. At least he was strong in his defiance. Um, and, and wasted everyone's time, right. Okay, let's reset everything and go ahead and, uh, dish this out. Who should that be under? What's the, what's the kingdom? Oh, G Germania Inferior? Really? That's a kingdom level title? Eh. Uh, I don't know if I could really want this many vassals under me, though. Um, you seem like a powerful good Roman who's held land for a very long time. Here you go, Germania Inferior, all yours, my friend. Should be giving it to my sons, really, shouldn't I? Okay, let's leave. And call for my court position at once. My poor daughter. Hey, shut up. Oh, no, it's the coughing from this. I thought someone was executed. Oh, my God, there he is. Saxons, Angles, Utes, and uh, Bretons, and um, Celts everywhere shit themselves. You know, look, look, the whole diaspora, basically, are, are pretty sad about what's about to happen. Um, which is, oh, God, Denmark, Denmark, why do you do this? Denmark, I'm not going all the way over to Denmark to see a single province. Fucking hell. All right, fine. We'll take out Essex first. The Jewel of Rome, we'll call it. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever referred to it as anything more than shit. Right, there we go. We'll take out you. This should be pretty straightforward again. We really just got to move into places and just say these are ours. You know, just plant a flag on it and claim it. Because that, that's basically the best strategy at this stage. They can't stop us. No one can stop us now. Maybe, maybe the Chinese Emperor can stop us. Besides the Chinese Emperor, no one can stop us. And we're in his good books for the most part. Um, I'm going to step another title. Theme of uh, Libya from the False Biggest Dickers. Absolutely. I do love taking a False Biggest Dickers. Right. Um, notes, please get off my screen. Right. You, my friend. Oh, you don't seem very Roman. Hang on, why are you? Oh, you are very Roman. 
What's your name? Valerius Africanus. Incredible. My friend, you are now the province of Libya. Like, he is actually the province of Libya. All right, let's finish off tidying up the UK. And then form Rome. Hooray! And now he's depressed. I wonder why. Right, thank you. I'll be taking that. Um, I assume we hold... Oh, shit. Now he's just... Fuck, we vassalized him. All right, I'll take that if you don't mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, we'll leave the Praetorian Guard just looking menacingly as we revoke all your shit. Now, if he wasn't depressed before, he probably is going to be now. Um, Lords of Camel Camelodonium? Tolerant policy? Tolerance? <laughs> Not in my Roman Empire. Not a fan of that. We'll have to undo that in a minute. Um, it obviously wasn't really affecting us that much. I think it's just a subtitle somewhere that I didn't really give too much of a shit about. But, you know, I'm also a big enemy of tolerance. He says, literally committing a religious purge. Thank you very much. No problems there. All right, Norfolk, you are next on my list of things to do today. Uh, conquest, right, there we go. Um, Cornwall, we should be able to take in one swoop. Wales, we can take in basically one swoop. And Oh, shit, they've got... Wait, that counts as England? Oh, Wales isn't a thing in this. You know what, fair enough. I was just about to say, I don't want to have to declare, you know, two different imperial reconquests on England and Wales for a total of four provinces. But luckily, it all counts as England, as it should. Right, let's take these boys out, and then we should be able to make some duchy-level titles pretty easily. I Ideally, I'd just like to shuffle this all under one fucking battle without having to worry about it too much. We've got to be careful, though, because we hold a lot of duchy-level titles, and we hold a lot of uh, actual provinces. So let's be somewhat careful. Um, why are you still a... Duke. Yeah, I was just about to say, you shouldn't be a Duke much longer. Oh, he's going to revolt against me. Careful, guys. Oh, 500 men. Oh, inconvenience the Roman Emperor. Yep, good joke. Strengthens the play. What are we up to now? 53. Nice. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, shit. I've got a siege of problems. I just sieged. Fucking Germanics. This is, what, this is why I'm exterminating your people from the realm. Right, there we go. Offer peace. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be taking this one, if you don't mind. Perfect. Right. So we hold pretty much most of that now, don't we? What about you? Oh, you're also a traitor. I'll take that as well, then. There we go. And this is all belonging to who, exactly? Uh, excuse me? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, France. They're going to be a very powerful vassal. Um, I say we quickly sweep up the rest to prevent our vassal just becoming incredibly powerful by himself. I'm not a fan of this... Um, Sort of super fr France th threatening us because they're basically going to have a shit ton of troops because the UK can just snowball, um, especially when it's left unchecked. So we're going to have to be very careful about that. All right. Um, let's take this out then as quickly as possible. Give it to a different vassal and basically split the realm in half. Although France will probably just swallow them up later on, especially if they've got Cassus Bella on anything. It's the best I can do, honestly. Short of revoking all the stats, which we could do, but we'll also piss him off. And he is, one of, like I said, one of our most powerful vassals. So I don't... Ideally, want to do that too much. Why am I not using the conquest cast of Belli? Oh, piss off with that. Um, Chris accounts power? Yeah, whatever. Sure. It's, it's me being lazy trying to get rid of all the titles at once, but why not? We can just fix that in a second. It's not like we haven't got a shit ton of gold to give away. Um, yes, I will enlighten this man. In be enlightened, man. Right. Uh, let's. Can we make the Kingdom of England now? We good. We are good. Right. That's all I wanted to do there. We'll find a loyal Roman retainer, Grant Lanitite. We'll give him the whole Kingdom of England. Deal with it. One foul swoop. Logria. Yeah, that's what I refer to it as. Perfect. All right. A wise choice. That's going to make all our vassals like us a bit more. So that's probably that with all of our titles. We have our. Oh, shit. We didn't give him the duchies, though. Oh, that's titular. Destroy it. Uh, we've also got Essex. Tribe. Destroy it. Uh, we've got. And our main three. There we go. Sweet. That worked out pretty well. What kingdom level titles have we got then? Alemannia. That's a titular one. Destroy it. We've also got uh, Galicia. Okay, fair enough. We'll give that away. Here you go. Grant on a title. Uh, Galicia. Or Gal Galatia? I don't know how you say that. Then we've also got uh, our capital. Nice. Okay. That's looking a lot, lot better. Thank you. We're almost 200 years old as well. That's insane. Why is he called that? Oh, that's his honorary title. Right. I thought that was a province called Happy Memory. Jesus, and no wonder I'm confused. Right, okay, let's take out these boys. I would like my my empire. Oh god, we haven't got enough gold. I don't know why I haven't yet tried to cure ourselves from um cancer or anything like that. I suppose it's No, they can't kill us. They can't just straight up kill you through surgery. Um We're gonna lose a leg though. We'll lose cancer, but lose a leg as well. Hmm. We are going to be a nugget by the time we're done. We're going to be like the Emperor from, from Warhammer 40k. Which is going to be like a desecrated immortal body in a throne. As the rest of Rome just rules itself. It's going to be kind of cool though. Um, so missing an arm, missing a leg. We haven't got cancer. We're civilian, which doesn't matter. Because obviously we are immortal. So who cares? Uh, 
Servants, I need you to clean up something. Thank you, servants. Right, can we actually go to war now? We've got enough gold. Perfect. By which I mean perfect. Right, there we go. Head down to Cornwall. The jewel of the Roman Empire. Excellent. Right, um, who can that go to? You know what? I'm just going to shuffle that under the King of England. Where the fuck is the King of England? Uh, wh where's the... Where's the King of England, though? Yeah, okay. Oh, that... I genuinely thought that was the same dude then for a second. Uh, do they not look absolutely identical? No. Same hats, different faces. Alright, look, here you go. Uh, I want you, my friend. No, I don't want to give him a fucking concubine. I want to give him this one. There we go. Let's keep him as powerful as possible so that England remains separate from France. So we don't have a, a ridiculously OP vassal under us. Give him that one as well. He can deal with his own vassals. I'm not, I'm not sorting out every single last one anymore. Perfect. Right, how are we looking then? We're not going to be able to take back... Sorry? Why is this independent? I don't know how that's happened, but I'll have to deal with that in a minute. We're not going to be able to finish it this episode, unfortunately, because we have just a little bit more left to do. But if we go to the uh, fine title region, we type in Imperium Romanum. Click it. That's what we've got to get. So we've got to basically go to war with Ireland. We've got to go to war with Denmark. We've got to take back Macedonia. We've got a single province in Africa, southern areas of Nicaea, and then the Sassanids as well. And we are finished. That is it. We've done it. Rome is restored, and then I've got to find out all the baronies we're missing, and all the various cities that have gone independent, and all of that nonsense, but I'll do that, obviously, uh, off-camera. Thank you for watching. Wow, this has been, a, it's been a busy episode, eh? We've almost completely restored Rome, and we saw our horse son. What a great boy he was. Shout out to my ridiculous level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Renders, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspire Z, James Ogilvy, Escape from Jackson Women for their ridiculous levels of support. Thank you for keeping the channel alive. Shout out to my sensible tier patrons as well, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Montaniak, Necrophilin, Felix Dale, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quet Lachley, Zar Reven, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I'm the little despot, because I don't know that you're a king. Llewellyn Thomas, you're under breeze. Euphrates, Duncan 217, Jordan Campbell, Asra, and Sidini. Thank you all for your support. Next episode, we make Rome. And love.